Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out around 11 minutes of the funniest British moments. Hello. Uh, I've got a parcel for your next door neighbour. You've got the wrong fucking house then, mate. Yeah, why, why would you deliver it to the person's neighbour? I guess this guy's hope- what? Huh? You can tell it's a, it's, it's, there's a cameraman. This isn't a security camera or anything, so you can tell this is planned. You've got the wrong fucking house then, mate. <laughs> this is ITV News at 10 with Mark Austin and Julie Etchingham. Good evening, pedophiles. Okay. <laughs> that was either a mistake he made or he's about to do a report about peds. Oh, look at him. Making two layers for his cheesecake. One with white chocolate, the other with milk chocolate. Very fancy. See what that tastes like. <laughs> it worked. I mean, he got it in his mouth. However you got to do it. Well, you did try very hard. She and you nearly got there. Just a little bit too thick. That's unnecessary. Oh. Niall, what do you say to that? Your waistline's a little bit too thick. <gasps> oh, oh, nice oh, batting oh. back here. Oh. I was thinking the same thing. Which makes it even funnier. Burn. His glasses are too thick. <laughs> You've got no friends. You've got no drowned. Who oh, fucking hopes are playing well? I'm telling you. What are you like, Sam? Huh? Hey? You want some? Well, the old Supreme Mall, wouldn't you? You want some or what? You want some or what? They're fantastic. They're fantastic. You're playing shit because you've got no fans. What are you doing? You're the old If you want some, I'll give it to you. What are you doing, mate? What's he offering? You know, it's really funny if you uh, think of this in a sexual nature, that what he's offering. I'm telling you. What are you like, Sam? Huh? What are you like, Sam? 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 Leprechaun sighting. And don't forget all the trouble we got. Yeah, I've seen Somebody this one. Somebody not know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shit. It was me. Well, I was fucking one of yous. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> I've seen that one. You know, sometimes when you flush, it doesn't go all the way down, Mom. It happens. Lighten up. Oh, I've seen this one. Sorry. Fuck you, mate. Sorry. Man, that sucks. Fuck you! What the fuck are you doing? So I crashed. What do you mean you crashed? I just hit my head. I crashed. <laughs> you crashed? How are you coming fast? How are you coming fast? Why are you fucking coming fast? I've seen, I've, I've seen that one. This isn't the whole clip. He tries to hold on to his bike and not let him leave. Makes me uncomfortable. I need to be taken care of. Why are you fucking coming fast? Who are you laughing at? What? Who are you laughing at? What? Don't fucking laugh at me! You've just near crashed into me! Wing mirrors! This doesn't... This... The only thing that makes this funny to me is that the person... That there's... <laughs> is that she says, don't laugh at me. It makes you want to laugh. Who are you laughing at? What? She opened her door. Who are you laughing at? You. Don't fucking laugh at me! Too late. What? You've just near crashed into me! Okay, near crashed into me. Wing mirrors! Wing mirrors. Fish. Mm -hmm. Our main story tonight, would you like some coke with that? The takeaway in Bristol where cocaine was hidden underneath the bacon butties and burger buns. What? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> Worst liar ever. What? No, I didn't know that. What? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never <laughs> knew that. So arise, Sir Nigel. Thank you very much. I'm honoured. My mummy says you hate foreigners. No, no, Is little she? girl. No, uh, no, 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 no. Right. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> that's very naughty. Uh, that's it, everyone. The queen has to be non-political. <laughs> Who is that? He might hate foreigners. Sam Delaney. Who's this guy? Oh, God. That's not him. Oh, the little kid. Oh. Sam Delaney primed the kid to say that. He has more of a face for radio. You having trouble with that yogurt? 
I wonder where he's got that from. The fucking fridge, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this had to be planned out. That was brilliant. She's referencing him using the F word, and then the father's thinking that she's talking about getting it from the refrigerator. Where do you... Oh, that's great. Wonderful. The fucking fridge, you dickhead. <laughs> no. And he called his wife a t- <laughs> Wow. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> you know, what, you know, is... <laughs> You know, what the hell is, you know, it doesn't make any sense what you said. It's a different recipe. It's got nothing to do with the macaroni cheese. You know? <laughs> if his grandmother's had, had wheels, she'd be a bike because everyone's had a ride. It's fun to watch people lose it. Go, go. <laughs> Boris Johnson playing rugby with children. Boris, I know you're watching. I think you need help. Why? Who? Who told him this would be a great idea? Plow over some children. It'll look really good. <laughs> what I've got is I've got a nice large nan. Um, nice. My nan's dead. Oh. So that don't matter. <laughs> so anyway, there's the nan. Look, it's a good nan. So what? I'm gonna... Good evening, ladies. Okay. How are you feeling today? Are you all all right? Yes. Okay. No, you are all all left. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad joke. That might be the worst joke I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your problem? You're not good. You got a problem, yeah, I guess. You, yeah. yeah, you are. Get your fucking helmet off then. I'll grow up, you fucking fool. Do you know who I am? You're a fool. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do I care? Well, you won't know when I fucking when you pull up. Come on, who are you then? Ronnie Bickering. Oh? Ronnie Bickering. Oh? Ronnie Bickering. Who the fuck's that? Yeah, me. Yeah, I've seen uh, the Ronnie Bickering thing before. It's funny that his last name's Bickering. Come on, fucking do it. Come on, you can't. Is that him? Is that Ronnie Bickering? Oh. <laughs> Could you please have That was wonderful. I hope that was Ronnie Bickering falling on his face. Well, a somersault in the pavement. <laughs> Oops. She put her hand up. I think he was gonna high. Oh. Yeah. That's happened to us all. We've all done it. Touched a boob on accident. They're just out there. It happens. As a result, it does take quite a long time to make change, even with the best will in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most important thing of all. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's so innocent. I wish he had been talking about littering. That would make it even more poetic. That's the most important thing of all, winning the trust of people that have put their trust in us, many of them for the first time, and Boris will have my full support as he does that. Well, I don't know why he's talking to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like he's talking to... <laughs> it totally looks like he's talking to a tree. I didn't notice that. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's the most important thing of all, winning the trust of people that have put their trust in us, many of them for the first time, and Boris will have my full support as he does that. <laughs> well, I don't know why he's talking to a tree. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> what does a man with a two-inch cock up for his tea? You have a chicken and chip. But some in Middlesbrough. <laughs> You're having chicken and chips. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Damn, his wife outed him. But some in Middlesbrough won't have it. Tomorrow. 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 It's tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow. Butter. 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 Listen. Butter. Butter. That's it. Say again. Butter. Very good. Thank you very much indeed. I've seen this one before, and I don't understand what's going on. The guy with the tie is trying to change the way this guy talks like just let the guy be a cockney accented british dude what's wrong with that but uh 
It's part of the cultural heritage of England. But uh, tomorrow. But uh. Making it quite funny. <laughs> Yo, Monopoly is a hardcore game. Brutal. Brutal. I don't think children should be allowed to play Monopoly. It's traumatizing. Oh. Adorable. It's all that. Oh, hi. How was your day? And I think, fuck off. <laughs> What's you talking about? How was my day? My day has got absolutely nothing to do with you. What a jerk. This guy would not survive in Southeast United States. Because wherever you go, people ask you that. This guy would be so angry. What the fuck is going on? Chloe is pure unreal at ice skating. I might whack me chopper in the freezer and get her to do some fucking pirouettes on it. I might whack me chopper in the freezer. What's a chopper? Is he talking about his pee-pee? Mainly British, a vulgar slam name for penis. Cool. You're gonna put your penis in the freezer? I don't think he understands how pee-pees work. Anne? Only six. What's your six, Anne? Retard. Retard. <laughs> the seven? I'm retard, you need two R's, Anne. I'm afraid there's only one there. <laughs> Oh, she took a risk by using that word, and it didn't pay off. I've got to go off the cuff here, because I do think what's really key, if there is one brave young man in this room who wants to come and say what he thinks the importance of International Women's Day is, I know there's going to be one of you. Otherwise, it'll be one. Right? This is risky. She really is beautiful, isn't it? So he got up and objectified a woman. <laughs> Funny. Oh, I've seen this one, y'all. Well, that was fucking scary. Yeah. Keenick wants to get to you. <laughs> I've seen that one before. This guy's cool as a cucumber. He almost lost his life. We can. I want to party with this guy. I take that back. I want this guy to guide me through life. Keenick wants to get to you. You've won a family day pass on the historic North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Oh, wicked. Lovely pass. Can't wait to take the family on that. They'll really enjoy it, mate. Oh. Oh. He's genuinely excited. Keenick wants to get to you. You've won a family day pass on the historic North Yorkshire Moors Rail. Oh, wicked. Lovely pass. Can't wait to take the family on that. No, oh, wow. I could see it in his eyes. He's genuinely happy. Wow. Rail. Oh, wicked. Lovely pass. Can't wait to take the family on that. No, really. Oh, adorable, yo. <laughs> this guy. Hey man, if you're wa I know you're watching. I hope I hope it was fun. I hope you had a I, I hope things are good for you. Enjoy it, mate. A bizarre story of our times. After KFC runs out of chicken, the police are forced to warn people to stop calling. It's not an emergency. <laughs> I have to go to Burger King. What a travesty. She was gonna have a healthy meal at KFC, and instead she has to go to Burger King. <sighs> What's wrong with the world? Hello, this is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. It's 6.30. It's Friday the 14th of October. Let's tell you what's coming up on the programme. We're going to be joined by Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. We're we'll talking to her about plans for a second <laughs> referendum on independence. I'm sorry, we've uh, very clearly run the wrong pictures no. of that particular sequence. My apologies <laughs> there. That's wonderful. <laughs>
I wish this happened more often. And I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to show you my balls. Oh, oh no, 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 no,